Everybody, welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Hara Sakai Tower. And it is the second round of the quarter finals here for the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament to determine who the final four drivers moving on to the semi final finale next week but first we want to give a big shout out to 2k racing thank you for support for being a channel member so let's get on to the driver introductions for the next group of the quarterfinals first up we've got big Romy in that 2020 jaguar f type weighing in at 69.6 grams He's going to be joined by Action 2K. There he is in that 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe, weighing in at 63.2 grams. They are joined by Blaze and Raiden, the only dynamic driving duo, also in a Jaguar F type. And last but certainly not least, the crazy Canuck from the A team, driving that Lambo, weighing in at 67. Point six grams. Here they are lined up for lap one. You got Big Romy and 2K on the front row. Blaze and Raiden joining the Crazy Canuck on the back row. Here they go, lap one. Big Romy out in front, followed by 2K. He slips into second. Big Romy pulling away in that Jaguar. Big Romy taking first, followed by 2K in second. Man, that. Jaguar F-Type is fast tonight. We'll have to see what Blaze and Raiden can do with their Jag later on. Oh, look at that hippity hop by Big Romy. Almost loses it coming out of the sewer vent, but able to recover quite quickly. And he takes a commanding lead over the other three cars. And look at the other three just left in the dust. Big Romy in first, 2K in second. Blaze and Raiden in third. And the crazy Canuck in fourth who now moves up to the front row with big Romy 2k moving to the back row with blaze and Raiden here for lap two and they are off big Romy with a slight lead but here comes the Canuck crazy Canuck gets a whole shot 2k out in the back crazy Canuck finishes first followed by big Romy and third place was a tight finish for third a sub six second time look at that is it fast enough to become one of the record holders here at the rim no it is three tenths of a second off the mark papa wolf continuing to hold on to that number four fastest time let's check out the replay here crazy canuck gets out in front hits the whole shot and you think blaze and raiden are going to get second but big Romy slips right in a second behind blaze and raiden then blaze slips on the kaiju blue coming down the middle straight and allowing 2k to make a last minute charge right there at the end for third but was it enough no it was not crazy canuck in first big Romy in second blaze and raiden take third in front of 2k who takes fourth all right halfway through this group Blaze and Raiden now on the front row with their Jag with Crazy Canuck. Big Romy moves to the back with 2K. You can see the, the point split there. Still anyone's game to move on. Blaze and Raiden, look at them flooring it. They are out in front. Huge lead by the dynamic duo, followed by the Crazy Canuck, Big Romy, and then 2K in fourth place. Wow. That was a race, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! another sub six is it fast enough oh missed it by that much one tenth of a second off the liquor the leckard the the record board look at the replay here blaze and raiden get out in front crazy conduct follows up in second but then where did those cars go blaze and raiden just take off you see 2k get a little squirrely on the kaiju blue coming down the middle straight allowing B 
big Romy to pass on the inside lane to take away third place. Little slip up by 2K, giving up third. Oh, look at the point spread. Big Romy with 10, Blazing Raiden and the Crazy Canuck with nine points, not too far behind. Fourth and final lap of this quarterfinal group. Here they go. 2K's out in front, followed by Blazing Raiden, but here comes Big Romy. Can they pass him? 2K spins, takes first, followed by Blazing Raiden, then Big Romy, and then the Crazy Canuck in fourth. Another sub six, but hey, this is not surprising, right? Sub six seconds, this is the quarterfinals. And even though it's not fast enough to get on the leaderboard, it is still fast for the rims. Check out the replay on this fourth and final lap. 2K's in the pole position, takes big advantage of it. There he goes, 2K out in front, followed by Blazing Rain, almost getting squirrely up there on the sign of death, actually taps the sign of death, but able to keep it straight and stay in second place. And I'm not sure what happened to the Canuck there, but way back and forth. Here are the final points. Oh, big Romy, Blazing Raiden, 12 points apiece. They are moving on to the semifinals. 2K and Crazy Canuck. This is the end of the line for those two drivers. Let's look at the stats for Big Romy and Blaze and Raiden. Wow. Both Jaguar F types. Look at that. Look at those stats. Worst place finishes third. They each won a lap. Sub six seconds. You can't beat that. We're going to get on to the next group right after this quick break. Hey, everybody, if you want to support our channel, head on over to our merch store and pick up a t shirt like the Koopa Cabana commemorative tee or a pint glass. You can also click the join button below to become a channel member for as little as $1 a month. Yeah, that pint glass making me thirsty. <laughs> Here's the next group starting off with Nick. Devers in that 32 Ford delivery panel wagon, weighing in at 66 grams. Loving that rat rod. He'll be joined by Motor Breath in that Aston Martin 177 and our lightest car in the quarterfinals at 49.7 grams. They'll be joined by Mopar Mac in that Audi RS5 Coupe, weighing in at 69.1 grams. And last, but not least, also in an Audi RS5 Coupe is the Gray Wizard weighing in right on the money at the max 70.0 grams. Here they are, lap one. Which of these two drivers are gonna join the semi-finalists? We're gonna have to see Nick and Motorbreath on the front row, Mopar Mac and the Gray Wizard in the back row. Here they go. Motor breath out in front, but here comes Nick Devers. Nick Devers. Oh, Nick Devers rolls. Nick Devers rolls it in the middle straight. Motor breath takes first, followed by Mopar Mac, and then the Gray Wizard in third. Man, what happened to Nick Devers? Doing so great. He was being a big bully there in the first round. Not sure if someone sabotaged his Ford, but we'll have to see. On the replay, you just see him. I think he nicks gate three, just a hair. I don't know. Oh, no, he clears gate three, but just rolls on the entry. But, you know, it's possible Mopar Mac kind of gave him a little nudge, a little nudge to tip him over. And Nick Deaver's on his roof at the end of lap one. He has no points. That's going to be hard to recover because he was in the pole position. That's just like, hey, I don't want to win. You want to win? I'll, I'll give you the championship. Here they go. Lap two. Gray Wizard out in front. Hits the hole shot. Followed by the other Audi RS by Mopar Mac. Can they catch him? No. Gray Wizard takes first. Followed by Mopar Mac in second. And Nick Devers in third. Motor Breath coming in fourth. Another sub six, but I don't think it is fast enough. Nope. Uh, the, the lowest, slowest, not the slowest, the lowest lap time there on the board is 5.6, and he misses it by three-tenths of a second. Check out the replay. Gray Wizard out in front, hits the hole shot, followed by Mopar Mac. Nick Devers trying to catch Mopar. They all get a little squirrely on the Kaiju Blue, but Gray Wizard able to keep it straight and stay out in front. 
to take first, followed by Mopar Mac, then Nick Devers for third, and Motor Breath for fourth. Man, here are the point standings after two laps. And wow, look at six and seven points for three of the drivers. Nick Devers is going to need a miracle to get back into this race. But both Audis on the front row. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and you got Mopar Mac hits the whole shot. But here comes Motor Breath. Motor Breath. Oh, look. Gray Wizard challenging. Gray Wizard passes. Gray Wizard passes Motor Breath to take second. And I don't know who took third. That was a photo finish. This is going to be crazy. We're going to have to see the replay of that finish. Look at this. Coming down the middle straight, Motor Breath just slips to the left but slips just a little too far. And look at the gray wizard making a beautiful outside line pass around Kaiju's lair. Look at it. Look at him come down here to the finish. You definitely see gray wizard gets out in front, but oh, I can't tell who got third. Gray wizard takes second. It looks, it looks like Nick Devers was in front of motor breath. We're gonna have to look at a different angle. Let's see the top down and freeze it right there yep Vic Devers steals third from Motor Breath so you got Gray Wizard took second away from Motor Breath and Nick Devers takes third away from Motor Breath fourth and final lap Mopar Mac Gray Wizard out in front I don't know if the other two cars can catch up here we go fourth and final lap Motor Breath out in front oh Nick Devers spins around Kickapoo here comes Mopar Mac challenging Motor Breath Motor Breath getting sideways and able to hold off to keep first place with a six second lap time. So you got Motor Breath in first, Mopar Mac in second. Nick Deaver spun out at Kickapoo and it didn't look like Gray Wizard finished. Look at it, you get it sideways there in Kickapoo. We're gonna have to look at another camera angle as they come out. Nick Deaver's just blocking out the Gray Wizard and they come to a complete stop right there in the helipad. Just like the last race, Nick Devers blocks the finish line to prevent Bob LeBlanc and Romeo from crossing the finish. And I don't know if this was on purpose. I don't know if Nick Devers has a vendetta against the Gray Wizard to completely block him out to prevent him from finishing. But that just cost the Gray Wizard the opportunity to move on to the semi-final round. Here are the last points and yes, Mopar Mac is moving on with Motor Breath and the Gray Wizard was blocked out. And if he wasn't blocked out, he'd be moving on. So congratulations to Motor Breath and Mopar Mac, both moving on to the semifinals. Here are the stats of that Austin Martin and that Audi. Look at that, Mopar Mac, worst finish second place, wins one lap. Motor Breath wins two laps. That's what you gotta do here at the Pacific rim speedway here are the four cars moving on to the semifinals. you got big Romy. you got blaze and raiden you got motor breath because why it's metaphorical and mo par mac these four cars are going to join the other four cars moving on to the semifinals. you want to see all semifinalists? well here it is look at them you got scooter roundwell Arlo, Big Al, Big Romy, Blazin' Raiden, Apotheca Death, Motor Breath, and Mo Par Mac. That's it. Right there, your semifinalist starting the kickoff of the finale next week on the Pacific Rim Speedway. Man, that was exciting, wasn't it? So exciting. You got these eight cars now are going to duke it out. Two groups tomorrow are going to battle each other for the semifinals. Two cars from every group will move on to the finale to determine the winner. So next week, three races. That's what I'm talking about. Not just two, but three. Two semifinals and then a finals round to determine who is gonna be the winner of the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament and move on to the King of Monsters End of Year Championship. Man, who, who else is going there? You got you got Daddy G in a Ferrari. You got 2K in a Mustang. You got Marquista in, I don't know, it's, it's some green convertible. I don't know. You got Mopar Mac in his Charger. And you got Arlo in that Acura. I don't know why I'm looking over there. 
it, there, I, there's another monitor over there. Why, why they don't put the monitor in front of me, I don't know. It's got to be over there. But you don't want to miss out next week for the finale. So be sure to click on that bell notification so you don't miss next week's finale or any future content from our channel. I am Rubber Toe, thanking everyone for joining us this evening. I cannot wait to see everyone back here next week. And I just want to wish everybody to be safe and keep your wheels on the road. Are we out? Are we done? We're done, right? You sure? It's not some like post Thanksgiving Black Friday Cyber Monday trick, right? Yeah, we're done. <laughs>